So guys, before I embark on today's journey, I want to do a little warm up, just a little insy tinsy warm up. All right? grapes y'all see how big they are and how beautiful they are and can you also hear the little birdies in the background mm -hmm. and those birdies they are not afraid to partake of my labor of love so guess what I am going to be protecting my babies today from those birdies I have some pink bags here that I found inside. Maybe they belongs to my daughter, but they're mine now. Yes, so I am going to be covering my grapes. And then I'll dive right into day four of my, of the making of my herb garden. All right. Guys, I didn't know I have so much grapes. I had to go and get some more bags. It's really a lot. All right, guys. This is such a beautiful sight. I didn't know I have so many grapes on these vines. And some of the clusters, they are so close together. I wasn't even able to put bags over a few of them. I am just hoping and praying that um, the leaves will kind of hide them from the birds, you know. Or I might just try again to see if i can cover them up but this is what my grapes are looking like now the pink and the green such a beautiful combination all right guys so i need to start working on my herb garden
so guys it is saturday may 25th and it is 8 15 a.m in the morning today is day number five in the making of my herb garden i am currently standing outside of the area that i am reconstructing i uh, haven't started working in there as yet i was about to but then i remembered i saw some pallets yesterday on my way to work hoped and prayed that they would still be there when i was returning from work and yes they were so before i start working in this area i want to go and grab a few of those pallets and because i took out the other um, section that was in here i need to go in this area has widened a lot so this side is now actually like three times the size of over here so now i'm gonna have to take down everything from here to pull it over some more to get it even maybe not a hundred percent but at least i will have some more space over there to do whatever i want to do yeah and I guess that's all I will be doing for today because when I am done, trust me, I know I'm going to be exhausted. All right, so let me go and grab those pallets and I will show them to you when I am done. So guys, I am heading out now for my pallets. It's like about five minutes away from where I live or less. But anything that has to do with walking, I am not afraid of doing it because it keeps me active and I am definitely getting my steps in. I don't have my tripod with me right now. So I guess I will just be showing you the pallets when I get there. And then I will be grabbing a few you know for future reference because you know sometimes you, you need some things in the garden and you wonder where you're gonna get that thing from and the lord just provided for you so yeah i'm gonna take all that i can take this morning and just keep them in an area for when they are needed okay so i'm going across the road now where the pallets are Every time I wear this hat, it always want to show up itself as if nobody's paying attention to it. <laughs> All right, guys, so here are the pallets. They are right here. So I'm gonna be grabbing a few of them now, take them home, and then I will get busy. All right, so here is the first one. So I am a little bit tired because I was lifting it, then I was dragging it, then I lift it, then I dragged it, and then I lift it all the way here. It is a good workout, so I am going back now to grab a few more. I'm not sure how much I will be getting, but I guess I will just take all the good ones and keep them for future use so guys okay after making the second trip i just couldn't do it anymore i had to take my dolly with me <laughs> my hands were hurting so much oh my gosh and i can only take one at a time which i don't mind because every every step really count for me right now so the more trips i make the more steps i will be getting in all right so just wanted you to know exactly what i'm doing so now i'm going to grab this one right here and these two some of them they are busted i've already put them to the side and then when i'm done with these three i might just take a break and come back later on because i really need to start my work in the garden all right, so I guess I'll see you when I'm done carrying these three. So I got all five pallets that I needed, thanks to my dolly. 
for expediting the process. I'm going to take a few minutes and then I will start working on my herb garden. So I am done breaking down this area. It is 1.49 p.m. in the afternoon and this is what the herb garden is looking like now. Go ahead and comment down below let me know what you think and i have a question for you all do you believe i will be putting back those three baskets i had mm -hmm. on these pallets if you think so comment down below and say yes if not go ahead and comment also and let me know what you think i will be putting there all right so this is the Glades Guard Girl over here in Zone 10 A, Florida. I will see you soon in part three. And I will be telling you the different type of herbs that I have currently in the herb garden and the ones that I will be adding in there as well. All right. So thanks for coming along with me and I will see you soon in another video ciao